Hey everyone, Just the Nurse here. This is going to be a quick video on how to check your blood sugar. So, things that you'll need, your glucometer, your test strips, you will need an alcohol wipe, maybe some gauze or a tissue, and then you'll need a lancet. This is a one-time single-use lancet. And then if you are using the injector pen, you might have something like this or something similar. So let's set up the Lancet device first in case you um, don't know how to set this up. So on one side, you should have a dial that will show you either a number or some dots like this. These dots, it'll be a very small one going up to a very big dot that will show you how um, big of a drop of blood that you're wanting to get. So when I do it, I usually put it maybe about three, somewhere in the middle. You don't want the huge drop of blood just because that's going to, um, the needle will be injected a little bit deeper to get a deeper drop of blood, but you don't really need that. Um, so I will go with, you know, maybe like a three. So this Lancet device, it has a this sliding handle that you'll pull back. This will set the spring and then the button is what is going to set the spring off. And then the needle, which we're gonna insert here, is going to prick your finger through the top. So how you're gonna want to set this up is, you should have these nice little lancets. You are going to put it into the lancet device. So this one, you will twist off the top. You can see inside there, it has a little area for you to set your lancet in. So the way that I do this, you will insert the lancet, right, and then I want to push down and then this will twist off the top exposing the top of the needle then you will put the cover back on twist it on be careful not to poke yourself as you're doing this then so now as you can see here we have the dial set to the size of the drop of blood that you want and if you want to practice with it, you just slide this back, slide back to load the spring. And then when you press it, you may or may not see that the needle will come through um, on the other side. So once the device is set up, so in this case, I'm not going to use the pen. I'm going to use the one-time use lancet device. So let's get our stuff set up. I like to have my strip ready. And on one side, you'll see where you will have the drop of blood. On the other side, you'll see something like stripes or something. That's the part that you'll insert into your glucometer. So I usually just set it down there. I don't push it in all the way to turn it on because I'm not ready with my drop of blood yet. So the finger that's best to use is normally your ring finger. And um, you will, might hear people say that you shouldn't prick the middle of your finger, it should be on the side. But I mean, it just depends on you or on your patient of, you know, they'll let you know which finger that you want to use and you, you should alternate between fingers and not keep poking the same exact finger. So usually they'll go between the ring finger and middle finger. So what we're going to do is let's open up our alcohol wipe. We are going to clean. You want to rub the finger that you're going to use with the alcohol. This is going to help disinfect it. Really important part here is that you let the alcohol fully dry. With your single use lancet device, you are going to twist off the top. It'll look something similar to this possibly. 
and then the top is where the needle will come out through. So now that I'm ready, I'm going to insert the strip fully, turn the glucometer on, and then you will wait until you see the sign that says it's ready for a drop of blood. I'm going to prick your finger. Okay, so there's a drop of blood. I just need a little bit more blood. Once you have a good drop of blood, angle your glucometer down and the blood will go up and it starts counting down. I like to set mine down flat. And then you have your results, 112. So according to your scale, and then you want to use that gauze to just hold pressure maybe for a minute or so. So according to your scale or what your doctor recommends, your blood sugar should be within a certain um, range of numbers. And then you will inject insulin. You'll record the number, inject insulin if you're on insulin according to your sliding scale. Thanks everyone, hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next video.